the new electric XPeng models for 2023 and 4. You may already be familiar with XPeng since they released the first flying car and caught global attention. They did quite a show in Dubai and have established quite an electric vehicle empire ever since. Welcome back to EV World, your one stop for all things EV related. Today, we are here to discuss what the Chinese electric vehicle company has planned for 2023 and 2024. Keep watching to know more and remember to subscribe before jumping into the video. He Xiaopeng, chairman and CEO of electric vehicle company Xpeng, wrote an internal letter to all employees on the 28th of January, the first regular working day after China's spring festival period, in which he briefly reviewed the previous year and set out the great plans that he has for the coming year, 2023. Xiaopeng described 2022 as a challenging year, a difficult year, and a connecting year. Sales for Xpeng fell short of projections last year, and the company's stock price dropped 81.34%. Only 120,800 vehicles were sold for the year, less than NIO with sales of 122,000 cars, and Li Auto with sales of 133,200 vehicles, even though several of the company's goods are now available in China's quickly expanding mid-market. Xiaopeng has given the right motivation for his employees to come up with the best possible outcomes this year by stating in his letter that the vast majority of present automakers will lose in this knockout. We must move forward fearlessly because Xpeng has no room to retreat. The third quarter of this year will see the delivery of the Xpeng Navigation Guided Pilot or the NGP. According to He Xiaopeng, the core label of Xpeng should be autonomous driving. In 2023, the NGP of Xpeng would stop using highly accurate maps and cover 50 to 100 Chinese cities. NGP aims to make it available in more than 100 cities by 2024, and the cost of smart features will drop to around one third of what it is today. Xpeng intends to introduce two new vehicles and update three current models in 2023. A high-voltage 800-volt platform serves as the foundation for both new cars. One of them is the five-seat slipback SUV known as the Xpeng G7. The second brand new vehicle, an MPV with the internal designation H93, will begin mass production in September of this year. This supports an earlier report that stated Xpeng would introduce two models for international markets in 2023 and a third in 2024. Early in the last year, Xpeng began to take the European market seriously and has made several efforts there. China and Europe consistently led the growth of the global electric vehicle industry from 2015 to 2021, with an average annual growth rate of 68% in China and 55% in Europe, according to a chart the business released on Twitter on February 10th, 2022. In its run to expand its EV business, let us look at the batteries used by the Xpeng vehicles. The leading battery manufacturer in China, Contemporary Amperex Technology, or CATL, is responsible for creating Xpeng's batteries. To avoid using cobalt, one of the most expensive components in a storm, Xpeng has switched from CTP batteries to LFP batteries. Xpeng announced they were launching new versions of the P7 sedan and G3 SUV using LFP batteries, but LFP batteries do lower the range of the vehicle. The 700-kilometer long range of the new versions with lithium iron phosphate cells will essentially be reduced to 480 kilometers when they become available for the rear-wheel drive P7 sports sedan first. However, LFP batteries do offer more life cycles and are generally safer. If you're still watching this video, remember to click subscribe. And now, Xpeng is getting ready to lift off with its EVTOL as it receives its required regulatory approval. The Civil Aviation Administration of China, which is equivalent to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, has granted Aero HT, owned by Xpeng and Xpeng founder He Jiaopeng, a special flight authorization. The approval allows the X-2 electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft from Aero HT to operate with a pilot in special circumstances. 
Aero HT claims that with the license, it would conduct several human flying tests to gather information for upcoming mass manufacturing. X2, which Aero HT refers to as a flying car, is a two-seat carbon fiber quadcopter without wheels. However, concept images posted on the company's website suggest that the next generation aircraft will resemble a sedan with wings. According to its product literature, X2 is intended for future low-altitude city flights and is ideal for short-distance city journeys such as sightseeing and medical transportation. It has two operating modes, manual or autonomous operation, which automates takeoff, flight, and landing. Since the model's first flight in June 2021, it has completed more than 3,000 tests in the air. One of the two businesses that the nine-year-old Xpeng company had founded and independently funded is Aero HT. The flying business received nearly $500 million in a Series A investment led by IDG Capital, 5Y Capital, and Xpeng in October 2021. Does anyone recall the kid-sized rideable robot Pony? That is Xpeng Robotics' second venture, which received a $100 million Series A financing in July of last year. Once again, IDG Capital took the lead with Xpeng joining. A total of 258,710 automobiles were supplied by Xpeng by the end of 2022. Chao Peng stated in the employee letter that the objective for 2023 is to provide 450,000 vehicles overall, or close to 200,000 vehicles in 2023. Together, NIO, Xpeng, and Li Auto are moving in the direction of increased annual deliveries. NIO's co-founder, Qin Li Hong, stated that the business plans to surpass Lexus in 2023 and would sell 200,000 automobiles every year. Li Auto plans to sell 350,000 cars in 2023. Six goods for Xpeng and eight products for NIO will be available for purchase in 2023. NIO's ET5 hunting version will be released in addition to the currently available ES8, ES7, ES6, ET7, ET5, EC7, and EC6. Lee Auto will offer a pure electric car built on an 800-volt high-voltage platform and three extended-range variants, the L9, L8, and L7. China's three largest EV manufacturers will fight in the same market category in 2023 with various car models. Xpeng's G9 and G7 compete against NIO's ES6 and ES7 and Li Auto's L7 in the five-seat SUV market. The new 100% electric vehicle from Li Auto will compete with Xpeng's MPV H93. Yi Jiaopeng had previously forecast that 45% of Chinese roads would be covered by new energy passenger automobiles by 2025. With that, we end this video. If you liked this content, do not forget to smash that thumbs up button and share and subscribe. Check out our playlists and refer to our other videos as well. See you soon!